We are going to convert this fireplace from this old tiny look into this. But first, we need to tape off some things. We need to be protected. And it should take literally maybe one day to get this done. Let's get to it. So first we're gonna use a degreaser just to clean it so the paint will have a good surface to adhere to. Next, we're just going to cover up the areas that we do not want to get painted. And all you need is some painter's tape, is some construction paper. And I like to use some tape first on the surround. So now that we have everything taped up, you're gonna use a high heat with sodium. What's oleum? <laughs> uh, it has a heating point up to 1200. Good for a fireplace. Don't need anything higher than that. Uh, it takes about maybe two coats and definitely you have a cohesive look. So we're gonna take maybe two hours actually. Uh, it takes about one hour for a recoat. Always use a respirator when I'm either spray painting or using my spray gun. It's really important. You don't want to be breathing in any harmful chemicals. So get a, one of those gloves to protect your hands. And basically that's all you need <laughs> and time. So pick this up for about a minute and you can start painting. Okay, so now we are going to prep and paint the tile. Originally, at first, I was going to use my spray gun. This is a really, 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 really great spray gun. Uh, if you want to see it in action, I did use it to paint my entire kitchen, backsplash, everything. It did a phenomenal job, and I was going to do it here, but there's way too much stuff here. Uh, spraying creates an overspray. We have to cover up everything, all the furniture, Got the, the frame TV here. Can't don't want to. I don't want to get anything extra dirty or with paint on it. So, I'm going to use a trusty roller and a paintbrush. I'm going to use the Extreme Bond by Sherman Williams. This is really really good. It has really good adhesion properties when you are painting on tile, glass, uh, anything that uh, does not make for a really good surface to paint on. This will allow it for it to work. If you want to see the paint gun or this in action, because I use it in my kitchen, check out the video in the description or pop up. But we are going to prep and then put down a coat of the Extreme Bonder. It takes maybe about four hours before a top level coat. So I might not get to it today, but we'll just come back tomorrow. So let's prep, which means just putting some tape down and let's get the painting. So we have the first coat of the primer one. I'm going to do two coats just because when it's when it's a roller and a brush, uh, you can definitely miss some errors. But with a spray gun, you know, you don't have to worry about it. So we're gonna let that sit uh, maybe for an hour or two, do a second coat, then let it sit overnight, and then we're gonna do the first coat of the black, and then 
I have a Dynasty but there it says it's one coat but usually I always do two coats so we're going to see how it looks after the first coat but first let's worry about this primer get the second coat on after an hour or two and then we'll start on the actual paint. I decided to do a second coat of the primer last night just wanted to make sure that everything was covered and we get some good adhesion. It didn't take that long, obviously less than maybe five minutes. Let it dry overnight. So we're about to do a first coat of the black paint. And this one is bare. Let me just hop on over to it. Uh, bare Dynasty is supposed to have uh, a one coat coverage, so we might only need one coat. However, I tend to always do a two coat just in case it doesn't really hurt. Uh, this has some really good uh, resistance to uh, scuffing and um, stains. So since this is going to be like maybe a kind of high traffic area and plus people might be walking on the tiles here. So we're gonna let this sit for, I don't know, how long does it take? Before we go. Two hours. So we're going to wait two hours and let this set, and then we're gonna do a second coat. I definitely wanna do a second coat just to make it a little bit better, make the color pop. So let's wait for two hours. I don't have a watch on my hand. Okay, uh, it looks really, really nice, actually. Uh, there are some spots that are a little bit light. Uh, mostly where I went over with the brush, but I'm going to do a second coat and let that sit for yeah 24 hours. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's do a second coat. All right, so now that I've gone over with a second coat and know that I'm not going to have another coat. You want to take off your paint tape, painter's tape, <laughs> just because when paint dries and if there's paint on the painter's tape, you might pull off some of the paint off of the actual stuff that you want to be painting. So anyway, uh, whenever you do paint, before the paint dries, you want to take off your painter's tape just so you can have nice crisp lines and you don't have to worry about any paint coming off with the tape as you're pulling them off. Yeah, so I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I am gonna to touch up some areas where the painter's paint uh, has some uh, seepage. Uh, it, it's not my preferred painter's paint. I actually used Green Frog, but I didn't have enough here. But I like how it came out, nice modern. Black, I might update the mantle, maybe just give it a fresh coat of paint so it can pop out. But um, other than that, I really enjoyed it and can't wait for the next project. Peace.